Good morning, everybody. This is Justin Booth from Giddy Yo Yo, and I'm in the kitchen today sharing with you my hot chocolate shaga elixir. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how I've put this together, and uh, hopefully it's something you guys can try out in your kitchen. Uh, so what I've done is actually I've taken four liters of water, and I took about a, a cup to a cup and a half of shaga tea cut, and I've put it... Um, in the pot. I actually had it simmering for about two hours last night and then I brought it back up to a simmer this morning and I've taken about just under two liters and I've put the the shaga into my Vitamix blender. I've, I've put the um, the strainer on top, dumped the shaga in, caught the shaga tea cut and put it back into uh, the, the shaga tea cut remaining pieces back into uh, the pot. So next step here, so I have just under two liters of shaga. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just trying to put my phone very nicely there. Okay, awesome. So um, <clears throat> next step, I've got Giddy yo, yo cacao paste. You can use cacao paste or you can use cacao uh, powder. I prefer the taste. Uh, I think that it has a, a higher nutritional value and I just like the taste of it better in, in my uh, shaga hot chocolate. So I'm taking about a cup um, of the uh, cacao paste. You can do anywhere between a half a cup to a cup, but I'm going to put a cup in there. And I'm going to enter that into the base. Next step, I'm going to take some Giddy yo, yo raw cane crystals and I'm going to put, uh, again, I mean, you can play around with the recipe to see, you know, how sweet you like it. Maybe you don't want it sweet at all. Uh, the people, myself and my, my co-workers in the office, they, they like it with a little bit of sweetness. So. Um, I'm going to put a, a third of a cup of raw cane crystals in there. And now that the um, the cacao paste has started to melt a little bit, I can put the Vitamix blender on and have it start to uh, on low. So, so you can hear the paste going around in there. We've got the hot shaga tea in there mixing with the paste. I'm going to add the cane crystals in there now. Uh, next step, what I'd like to add, and again, this is my personal recipe. Um, I like to add some Giddy yo, yo uh, vanilla bean powder. So it's the whole vanilla bean that's been crushed up into a powder. Take about a teaspoon and I put it in there. I also like to add uh, cinnamon. Uh, now, we don't carry a cinnamon just yet, but we might in the fu near future. Until then, please find uh, your cleanest cinnamon powder and add that to your mix as well. I do a heaping teaspoon and I'm not using measurement teaspoons with that. I'm actually just uh, cutting corners a little bit using an actual teaspoon today. So now we've got the paste, we've got the cane, we've got the vanilla, we've got the cinnamon and last but not least and soon hopefully Giddy Oil will be carrying this as well is uh, coconut oil um, and so I'm going to use about, for for my measurement purposes, two heaping tablespoons, and the tablespoon that I use is a tablespoon on uh, like an actual table tablespoon. So I'm gonna put one, two heaping tablespoons into the mix. Now, this is how I make it as the base. You can always add other superfoods to this mix to, to liven things up a little bit. Um, you know, you can use things like Giddy Yo Lakuma Powder, or perhaps you can use Giddy Yo Mesquite Powder. Or if you're looking for a little bit more of a hormone balance and maybe increase your libido a little bit, you can always slam in some Giddy Yo Yo Maca. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to bring this. Uh, to a full mix, blend it up high for a few seconds here. Boom. And I'm going to pop the top off, and you can see we've got a nice, frothy Shaga hot chocolate elixir with coconut oil, vanilla, cinnamon cane crystals, and cacao paste. Sorry about the phone in the background. Um, either way, I'm gonna get this ready and I'm gonna be bringing this to the office today so all the uh, Giddy Yo Yo family can indulge in the wonderful recipe. 
And uh, hopefully you will be able to make this at home and share it with your friends and family. Shaga is an awesome uh, mushroom. If you're not aware about what shaga is, uh, shaga is a, a mushroom that, uh, well, we actually, or SARS, uh, it's wild harvested. It comes from northern Ontario and northern Quebec. A wonderful way to alkalize your body. It's antifungal. It's uh, anti-inflammatory. It increases uh, the uh, serotonin levels in the body, uh, de detoxes your liver. Just a, a wonderful all-around mushroom. And then taking that mushroom, breaking the cell wall down, because it's very important to be able to to take that uh, mushroom, break the, down the cell wall to be able to extract all those amazing healing properties out of the shaga. And that's why we simmer this for at least two hours, a minimum. Like that's the way I do it at least. Uh, some people I've heard do it in a slow cooker over four, five, six hours, even a day sometimes. So once you have that, then you add, as I said, the, adding the cacao paste, you're getting a high source of magnesium, vanilla, and, and um, uh, cinnamon adding nice flavors to it also some antioxidants and again our raw cane crystals uh, are grown in volcanic soil in Ecuador so uh, super saturated in minerals a, a, a wonderful way to to sweeten things uh, whether it's a shaga hot chocolate or a smoothie or you know even the Gideo chocolate bars that we do so um, I hope you enjoyed this video today I will put the description and the recipe at the um, in the description below and uh, please send me your feedback let me know what you guys think take care peace